everyone and welcome back to the main channel. Today we're continuing from the last video but in a broader sense. So last video we did a sonic screwdriver debate. We talked about whether or not I really do like the design of this Wii remote. Right? Because it, it was a, the Doctor Who game was fantastic on the Wii. I just feel like we could do more with that. And I really do like this. So... I wanted to continue this discussion, but mainly now to concentrate on Sonic devices. The Sonic device debate. A unique title. So, the reason why we want to talk about that is because then we can talk about the Sonic cane, the Sonic trail, the Sonic sunglasses, the Sonic laser. Uh, River Sonic, as in, this is what I shared before, Sonic Trowel. Um, I'm trying to think of all the Sonic related devices, actually. That's interesting. I can't think of any others. So, there probably isn't as many as we're all thinking, but at the end of the day, I'll be honest with you, a Sonic device is as weird as anything because the Sonic screwdriver well, apart from Jody's it was all made from the TARDIS right so how can someone that doesn't know a TARDIS I mean the Sonic laser is self expanded but how can River have her own Sonic screwdriver and trowel and where did the Sonic cane come from and where, why is it not being the show since, since uh, Let's Kill Hitler. So I'm, I'm slightly on the fence of being confused by that, but at the same time, I sort of just go, oh. I mean, we don't really know much about River. What I mean by that is that we don't know if she, in a future incarnation, gets steals the trowel off the Doctor. Will a future incarnation of the Doctor ditch the screwdriver and go for a sonic trowel and then give it to River? I don't know, but will River's song return is another question for another day in another series and another year in another millennium. But the question is, will, will we ever get an explanation of where the sonic trowel came from? Um, Because... That was from the old, I think so, the husband the River song. And I just think that it was like, what? Huh? Huh? Question. Need answer now. And you're never going to get an answer. No. You'll get in five hours to never. Yeah, you'll, you'll never get the answer. Which is weird, which makes you question the ends of the universe. It begs the question of, I don't know, cheese on a stick, or or a moose riding a quad bike, or a otter, a sea otter, riding a hoverboard, um, but one of those, uh, a sea hoverboard, not a, um, not a Segway. Type of hoverboard, and I think that yeah, weird, and yeah, we'll never know. I think I think Doctor Who, what makes Doctor Who so interesting than other franchises in the category, is that there's a lot of open questions that if you shove an audio drama drama in, will fix and solve that question, but not for everyone. So, let's say, if you're a fan of, I don't know, let's say one of the Star Treks, so you're a fan of one of them, right, that might not fill a gap, as in that might not reference, I don't really know, but I'm just doing a, a, a complete guess, that that might not fix whatever happened in another version of Star Trek, where you were trying to work on the answers, but with... Doctor Who, because we've got Big Finish, and because Cameron's up to you, according to Russell T. Davis, you can decide whether or not 
that explanation works for you, and so you can just move on with your life. Which is an interesting and unique concept to the Doctor Who uh, franchise. And it's a good way to shut people up going, Is this canon? What's canon? Even though I've made those videos, I've seen the footage of Russell saying, Canon's what you make it. That's my Russell T. Davis impression. So I go, right, thank you, Russell. I will make the canon what I do, and I'll stop asking, Is there a lady? Lady Chicanon. Well, hmm. he says canon's what you make it, but there is certain elements that you have to believe. Chameleon circuit broken. Stuck as a police bug. Correct. Gallifrey. Time Lord. So, Time Lord. Gallifrey. Chameleon circuit. Police bugs. And four things you have to take into consideration are fact, no matter who you talk to. So, River having a Sonic device is probably cleared up in one of the Diary River Song Big Finish box sets. But who actually knows? I, I know everyone that's listened to those box sets and uh, Alex Kingston herself. Yeah. So a lot of people already know that, but no one's actually bothered to uh, alert me. So if anyone has a su- suggestion of why uh, River has a sonic trowel and how a trowel can be sonic let me know in the comments section down below on YouTube or wherever you're watching this because I share it about on places that have boxes for comments. You might want to comment there instead of here. Interested thoughts. So, the big Sonic debate is... I quite like the element of having non-screwdriver based Sonic devices, but I like an explanation when we first meet the character with the same device, how they got the Sonic device, unless they are the master with the master of his own TARDIS, so that makes them perfect sense. Hey guys watching, bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.